Solving quadratics at level 2 is very similar to factorising quadratics in most ways. Now just in part as a recap, we're going to have a look at how you solve quadratics using hand, this is from a level 1 video, how you can solve quadratics on your calculator, which is very similar to factorising quadratics using your calculator, and finally, how we can use the quadratic equation to solve quadratics. This is the equation that your calculator actually uses to solve these quadratic problems. So first off, our equation must equal zero. And secondly, we need to remember this form of our equation, something x squared plus something x plus something equals zero. Now for this example, a, the number in front of the x squared would be two, b would be negative three, that's the number in front of the x, and c would be negative two, that's just the number by itself. So let's look at our first method. Now this we should have learned in the level 1 video for solving quadratics. This is doing it by hand. Our first step is that we need to factorise. Once we've done this, we should have two sets of brackets, each with an x and each with a number by itself. Once we've done this, we then can make each bracket equal to 0. Then we can solve for x. Once we have each bracket equaling 0, we can solve that equation and find out what x equals. So with this first bracket, the 2x plus 1, we can rearrange it to find that x equals negative 1 half, or negative 0 0.5, which is the same thing. On the second bracket, we can have x minus 2 equaling 0. That rearranged gives us that x equals 2, and there would be our two answers, x equals negative 1 half, and x equals 2. It's quite a complex procedure to actually factorise this first and then solve it if you have a graphics calculator. So if you do have a graphics calculator, it's probably easy just to do the same thing as what you did in the factorising video. That's in your main menu, press the equation button. Once you've got onto that, you press poly for polynomial equation, which is what this type is. Then you're going to press 2 because it's to the power of 2, that's the highest power you have there. Then we put in our values for A, for B and for C. In this case, our value for a is 2, our value for b is negative 3, so we press negative 3 then execute, and our value for c is going to be negative 2, so we press negative 2 and then execute. Once we've done this, we should press solve, which is f1, and we get a screen that looks a little bit like this. We have the ax squared plus bx plus c formula from up the top, and our answers are either negative 0.5, which is the same as saying negative a half, and 2, which is x equals 2. And that is how we solve using our graphics calculator. Most of you will use this calculator method because it's the easiest one to do. However, we can use this quadratic equation method as well. And the reason this is useful is because you will need it if you're planning to get excellence. If you're only planning to get achieved or a merit, just focus on this calculator method to solve it. But if you are looking to get excellence, please focus for this quadratic equation because that is what will allow you to get the excellence level answers. Now this quadratic equation is all given to you in your resource booklet. It says here that x, and that's the answer we're trying to find, is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Now it does look a little bit confusing, but all we need to know is our numbers for b, which is negative 3, for a, which is 2, and for c, which is negative 2. We can plug those numbers straight into this formula instead of a, b, and c, and then we can just solve it like normal. So in this case, instead of b, we can put negative 3. So negative b out the top would be negative negative 3 or just 3. We still have the plus or minus there and we'll get to how we solve that a bit later on. Then we have the square root of b squared. Now remember b is just negative 3. So instead of b squared we're going to have negative 3 squared. Then we have minus 4 times by a which is 2. There's 2 there. Multiplied by c which is negative 2. So putting that all on this top equation we have b squared negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c, and that's all divided by 2 times a, remember a is 2. So, we can now simplify this down. This top part here, negative 3 squared, turns out to be 9 if you put it in your calculator. Negative 4 multiplied by 2 is negative 8, multiplied by negative 2 is 16. So we have 9 and 16, which makes 25, so we have the square root of 25 in here. And on the bottom, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. So now we're slowly simplifying it down. We've got x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 divided by 4. We can simplify this some more. If we put square root of 25 in our calculator, or if we know that 25 is 5 squared, we'll figure that that's 3 plus or minus 5, because 5 is the square root of 25. Now we need to focus on this plus or minus symbol. 
Now you'll notice in the past two examples, we've had two answers. X has either been a negative a half or two. And the same when we did it on our calculator, we got two answers, negative a half and two. In the same way, we're gonna get two answers by using this formula. One when we use plus in this formula, three plus five divided by four, and one when we use minus, three minus five divided by four. So if we look at the plus first, we're gonna end up using three plus five, which is eight, divided by four, and that gives us our two answer. If we were to use minus, we would go three minus five, which gives us negative two, divided by four, which is where our negative a half comes from. So in the same way, all three of these methods will give you the same answer. Your calculator might be the easiest way to do this. However, if you learn the quadratic equation, it opens you up to be able to use excellence level questions. Let's look at what you need to know, and we're gonna combine this with our final example. What you need to know is that you have a quadratic expression. You must make this quadratic expression equal to zero. That's critical. And you have to remember that we have an A, a B, and a C. Now there are three ways you can solve this. The first is by hand. And if you do it by hand, you have to factorize the equation first after it equals zero, which means putting it into two sets of brackets. You then have to make each set of brackets equal zero and solve them independently. And in this case, solving 2x plus 8 equals 0 ends up with an answer of x equals negative 4. In the same way, if we solve x plus 5 equals 0, we get an answer of x equaling negative 5. Now we should get these same answers when we put it into our calculator. If you have a graphics calculator, press the menu button and then go to the equation function. Once you're into equation, so you press execute, you have to press poly. So that stands for polynomial equation, which is F2 on your calculator. Once you've gone into that, we'll ask you what degree your equation is. That means what is the highest power? Here we have x to the power of two, so we're gonna press two because we have a quadratic. Next, we have to put in our values for a, for b, and for c. So we put in our value for a, which is two, and then press execute to save. Put in our value for b, which is 18, then press execute to save. Then put in our 40 and press execute to save. Finally, you can press F1 to solve this problem, or you could just press execute again and that would also solve the problem. And that should give you an answer screen like this, giving you your answers of negative five and negative four. So again, we have our answers of negative five and negative four, so the calculator and by hand should give you the same thing. And remember, the calculator is just powered by this quadratic equation. This quadratic equation is given to you on your resource booklet. And remember, it just finds X, by substituting in your values for b, which is 18, for b, which is 18, for a, which is two, for c, which is 40, and for a, which is two. Substituting each of these values in, we get a big equation which we just need to simplify and solve. So here we have negative b, which is negative 18, and then the square root of b squared, so 18 squared minus four times a, which is two, times c, which is 40, all divided by two times a, which is two. Simplifying this down, we have 18 squared minus four times two, which is eight times 40, which is 320. That gives us the square root of four. Then we still have our negative 18. Now hopefully you'll be able to pick the square root of four is two, otherwise you can put that into your calculator. And you'll end up with negative 18 plus or minus two divided by four. Now we want two answers. So we have to do this formula once with a plus and once with a minus, two separate times. That's what the plus and minus means. So first of all, if we do 18 plus two, we get to negative 16 divided by four gives us negative four. Or we could use the minus, negative 18 minus two gives us negative 20 and negative 20 divided by four gives us our negative five answer. So here's how all three methods can give you the same answer to solving a quadratic equation.